I've watched many people in their life get a mighty touch from God and want to do great things for God. But they never allow God to make a change in their friendships. And so therefore, their intentions never become a reality. I don't necessarily think the people in our lives are the greatest factor in our spiritual life, but they're one that is often overlooked. Today, we're going to look at it on this episode of Faith Bombs. There are certain things in our life that we've been raised knowing and thinking based on the people that are in our lives, family, friends, these different type of things. But if it doesn't align with the Word of God, then we need to depart from that type of thinking. You see, you have to keep in mind that you are shaped by that which you interact with, the people that are closest to you. Life is not necessarily about the big dreams that we have, but about the little decisions that we make. And if we don't make those little decisions, if we don't allow God to make those decisions when it comes to our friendships, then our life is shaped less and less by our dreams and our ambitions and more and more by the people we choose to interact with. The people you choose to run with in life is the person who you will become. The Bible says to do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. You can't just hang out and, and have the friends that you've always had necessarily. I'm not advocating dropping people out of your life. You can't live wherever you want to live. You can't marry whoever you just want to marry. You can't work the job of just anything. You have to be led by the Holy Spirit. And you've got to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in your friendships. If you don't allow the Holy Spirit to lead your friendships, you will begin to interact and come along people that maybe God never intended for you to have in your life. And so therefore, your life begins to diminish in, in its uh, value because of the people you're interacting with. You need to begin to break those things. Those are enslaving yokes that drag you down because you're just thinking, well, it's the way it's always been, or I could just do. No, you have to be led by the Holy Spirit in everything that you do, including your friendships. God will lead you in the right direction. God will do exactly what you need to do. And today, God is going to lead you. I'll leave you with a quote I've heard many, many times. Show me your friends and I'll tell you your future. Today, as God makes the change, your future becomes as bright as the morning sun that grows brighter and brighter as the day goes on. In Jesus' name.